How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I thought I would just go ahead and share with you guys a small little haul. Uh, some just items that I got from Milani and then just a couple items that I got in Walmart. Nothing major major, just a few items. So for uh, Milani for me, it's very hard to get anything really because the only way I can get Milani products is ordering online. That's just it. There's no place around here near me unless I go 30 miles or 30 miles 30 miles 30 minute drive or 40 mi 40 minutes um, you know like something like that away which is going on here looks like a little antenna but anyway so um, so yeah I can't get any Milani products unless I get it online simple as that so the main reason why I went and ordered online the ones that catch me is their blushes. I really do enjoy their blushes. I do, I do know, I can totally see why they're the hype. I really do because they are great blushes, the pigmentation, everything. They're just the really beautiful blushes and the price, it, you just can't beat it. You know, it is a really good price for them. So some of the blushes that I like is those blossom, those rose blossom blushes. And, um, I had gotten some from the last set that they had out. There was like four of them. When they first started it, started them, they had four, and they were limited edition, and they went so fast, like hotcakes. It was like they were gone, and it was just crazy. I didn't get one one of them. I didn't get my hands on any of them, and I was just like, oh my god. So a lot of people complained about that. I know they were pretty upset by that, which I can understand because yeah, it does get frustrating because you're wanting. You know you want to have them too and try them out so the last or the last four i got um and i think the four before that they're like all matte shades now these are limited edition according to the uh, milani site i'm not sure who i was watching i was watching somebody of course you know because i i love watching my youtube channel or the channels and everything and watching everything about beauty and someone had mentioned that milani had them on their site still and uh so i was like oh my gosh really you know they still have them on their site or they actually have them on their site so i jumped right on there and i thought okay i didn't want to because i'm trying to save money because i do really want to get some of the beautiful palettes that are coming out right now and um but i did want these blushes too Ugh. so what can you say uh, the collector in me, I guess. So I got all three of them. Uh, the, oops, the glare there, sorry. I got all three of them. There's three of them from this set. There's not four, it's three. Uh, these ones here have shimmer to them, I've noticed. They actually have some shimmer. And they're gorgeous. They're just as gorgeous as to be expected. Um, now, the first one here, they, they're by numbers, too. So I'm going to start off with number nine. And it's called American Beauty and you know the design on these are just exquisite they're just so so beautiful this is definitely of a rose tone to it um, it has a beautiful pink pink color to it but it also has a little bit of coral so it's like a pinky coral maybe I guess but it does have some sheen but it's so pretty such a pretty color so there's that one the next one number 10 is called awakening rose which that's the color I do have on which I don't even know how well you're gonna see it because my lighting stinks for stinks so no other nicer way to say it. My lighting could be just crap. Um, so Awakening Rose is number 10. And it's a neutral shade. 
it's a nice neutral shade so if you're somebody that really likes these colors which to me I don't have exposed from Tarte but to me it makes me think of exposed from Tarte only because of the way the coloring looks and from the pictures I've seen of exposed you that guys that have exposed probably will know more than what I will but right there it is that's the color I have on today it is so pretty I really like this one I don't know it's just so pretty so it's right there in the middle just a nice neutral naturally shade and then this one here is very gorgeous too this one really has a nice iridescence to it um, almost duochrome even maybe this one's in um, blossom time rose it's number 11 blossom time rose this one definitely has more of the coral coral shade there it is there you can see maybe the iridescence and duochromeness to it or something. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So right there, we have it right there. That's all three of them right there. They're so pretty. So I think each one's pretty, just depending on what you might be looking for. But I think they're all very gorgeous, gorgeous blushes. Now, then, I have never tried one of the Bella eyeshadows. I know so many people, it's like been around forever, so. The Bella eyeshadows I have not tried. Well, while I was on there, I just figured I'd look at them because there was a couple colors that I thought about getting because I wouldn't mind getting the Mandarin one. Oh, I know that's a shade that I will love because I, you know, I do love my oranges and corals. It's so funny how I'm expanding my colors. I used to be straight up purple and I still love my purples but then it's like I do enjoy greens I do enjoy oranges now it's so funny how it's like you know and um, so anyway this is supposed to be a limited edition shade and it's the Dolce number 31 uh, Dolce or something like that and it's a beautiful I don't know like coppery rose gold shade it is beautiful though and there it is there not sure how well you're seeing it on my finger but right there and look at that holy moly so yeah that is so pretty and amongst the Dolce shade they also have a lip gloss the Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss, and look at that coloring. I mean, seriously, can you see that? Oh. I mean, I'm sure they were out for the summertime, but who cares? I mean, they'll still look good for the holidays or anything coming up. It smells like cream cake, cupcake kind of stuff, but there it is right there. Oh my God, I can smell that. There it is right there, of course. So, oops, there. There's the lip gloss. Oh my goodness. Do you know, yeah, it has that cake frosting smell to it. But you know what else you always smell like? That was the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals lip glosses, if you remember. That always smelled like glazed donut, as Leslie would always say. If some of you guys know what I'm talking about or watch, you know. So in the process, uh, somewhere online, this was sent to me for free. So I don't know if it's because I bought several products from them. I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just happened to see that this was in my cart and it said free. So I'll take it. Okay. You know, it's, it's a nail polish, which I lack on nail polishes anyway. And there's the shade, which I do have on my fingers, but it's coming off now. But in all honesty, it's coming off because I have had it on for probably about a week's worth. And it probably seemed like it started chipping within three to four days. I think that's pretty much most nail polishes chip I don't I don't know because I'm not very whatever with nail polishes but about three or three or four days worth and it's a beautiful color um, I'll probably wait more in summertime now when, when summertime gets here but I wanted to put it on to see um, and then ah, having run, runaway products here and then I wanted to get another one of their lipsticks you know their um, the Milani lipsticks 
And this shade's number 42. It's called Rose Femme, 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 however you say that. You guys probably know better than me. And it's that brownie, brownie color. I don't know. The scent's very different. Uh, some people compare it to a watermelon scent. As you can see, I've already used this a couple of times, and it is a very pretty shade. I was worried at first of how it was going to look on me, and it is perfect. And it is a perfect color for now because it's that popular shade that a lot of people are looking for right now. So there it is right there. It's really pretty. So two products, and of course they're lip products I got in Walmart. Uh, this one here is from Rimmel. It's a lip pencil you know these lip pencils are like everywhere now like every company that you can even possibly think of is making them and mm, I'd have to say so far for me Revlon still has most of them beat but this is a pretty good one right here I would say this this is really good it doesn't have the mintiness like the Revlon's do because I think the Revlon do do have the more mint uh, some of the mint ones I guess they have different ones though I guess they have the mattes and the other kind, but anyway. So this color here is again another, as you can see, brown, pinky brown shade or whatever. It's it's in the mauve family, and it is called Keep Keep Mauving. It's the lasting finish color rush from Rimmel. Now the shade color is in with the wording along here. So it's in with the wording. It's very hard. It's not on the bottom top or anything. It's in with the whole wording of what the lip product is. So just so you know, if you're looking for the shade color wondering, um, it does seem to be one of the twist up kind of things. So you can twist it up, which is nice. But anyway, here it is here. It's Keep Moving. And it's a really pretty color also. Um, I'll put it down below here. And you can tell these are going to be very moisturizing. So I, and I do like Rimmel and their lip products. So I think I'm really going to like this. And um, I probably might even look into getting more shades. So right there it is there. You can see the shine. So. And then the last thing is one of these hard candy uh, lipsticks. Um. I think it was Laura Shakeup Makeup. I'll put a link down below. She was talking about these. And look at the packaging. It does. It's really pretty. It does look like, um, you know, something really nice and fancy. And it's pretty adorable. It's adorable uh, lipstick. You know, the, the whole thing. It's packaging is really nice. So, and $5, you know, $5. I mean, that's pretty good. So I wasn't sure at first because I was looking at all the shades and I wasn't really quite seeing one calling my name. But then I seen this one here, which was in the purple family. Of course, you know me. And this shade here is Newly Buried is the name of this one. So that's called Newly Buried. And yes, it is a gorgeous purple shade in the purple family. And I think, oh, you know what? Okay, this, you guys are going to probably like be like, really, Lori? Like, each lipstick I'm sniffing and then it makes me think of something. But honest to goodness, with this lipstick one, I don't know if they all smell like this. Maybe each one has a different scent to it. I don't know. But this one here, honest to goodness, it smells just like, if you're a licorice person, which I love my licorice, if you're a licorice person and those shoestring, the red shoestring kind of licorice, those little, little like spaghetti, like thin spaghetti, shoestringy kind of uh, licorice, it smells like that. That is a no joke. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That is what exactly it smells like to me. And uh, I like that smell, so I'm fine with that. So there it is there. Uh, really pretty very moisturizing. I really think I'm going to love this lipstick for right now too. Um, it has a like iridescence to it a little bit. Um, it's it's unique. Like it's, you know, there is a lot of different purple shades out there. I know my camera's not picking up too well, but it does have like an iridescence to it. I can't 
fully explain, but um, it is unique, definitely. And I really like that about it. So that's going to be a fun one to play around with and work. And I'm going to maybe check out the other shades. Or, like, I won't probably get black black or anything like that. I think there was, like, black and whatever. But there was a couple other shades. I might, I might look into them. Let's just give a whirl, see what they're, what they're like. Because the formula of these lipsticks are really good. But Hard Candy did have some pretty good formula with their other lipsticks that they had out. And I think I even got a purple one in that one, so... Um, but anyway, beauties, that is all my goodies that I got. So, yeah, I don't know. Now, I think, I think, I think, I think Milani still has those blushes. Like, they're $7.99 a piece. I can't tell you that much. As far as I know, they're still on Milani's site or on page. They are limited edition, so you know how that goes. So, anyway, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up i so much appreciate that very much uh help me out in getting my videos out there and also if you are not subscribed to my channel come and join me and subscribe it's free it's totally free and um you can join me each week and i'll have some new videos up and um so yeah come and join me and subscribe and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time, you all take care, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Bye-bye.